For this exercise, we're going to continue on with Section 5 of the Microsoft Office 200 Certification Exam, Managing Charts, where we're going to work on creating charts, modifying charts, and formatting charts. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start on uh, Hot Chocolates tab and make sure that you have already downloaded uh, S13 Hot Chocolate City. And so we're going to start on the Hot Chocolates tab. And over here to the right, I've added instructions of what we're going to do, uh, what we need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is change the chart layout to layout eight, different than chart styles. Then we're going to add a price to the vertical axis title. And then we're going to remove the horizontal axis title and add a legend to the right side of the chart. So over here on this chart, we're going to click on the chart and it says to change the chart layout. So we'll go up here. Click on the chart, go up to chart design, and we're going to go over here to quick layout, and we'll click the drop down, and it says chart layout number eight, and we just have to scroll to number eight. It will be this one right here, layout number eight, and if we click on that, it changes the style. So now we have this style here of the chart. The th question also says, to add price as a vertical axis title. So notice we have axis title here, our vertical and our horizontal ones. So we're gonna click on the axis title and then we can just go up here to our formula bar and we're just going to go ahead and we're gonna type in price and return. And now you see that it changed it down here. We could have typed it in there, okay? and. I like typing in my formula bar better than trying to type vertically. The next, it asks us to delete the horizontal axis title. So just click on it and then click delete on your keyboard is the easiest way. Okay. And then it asks us to remove the horizontal axis title. We did that at a legend to the right. So if we clicked anywhere off, we can click it on. There's two ways to do it. I like going up here to chart design. We can also add this on the plus here. This is chart element, but chart design. Add chart element. Go down and click on legend. And over here, we're going to choose right. And now we have our legend down here. Okay. The next thing that I want to do on this chart is go ahead and rename the title. So we just have this 12 ounce price. We're going to rename this title to hot chocolates 12 ounce price to be a little bit more descriptive in it so if we were to ever share this uh, people could easily better understand it okay and now we have that now the next step that we're going to do on this so we've completed step one step two uh, we've uh, added a chart element, which was identifying the series. So if somebody says add a chart element to identify the data series, that's add a legend. We did that to the right side of the chart. Next is we're going to insert a Pareto chart on, on the hot chocolates worksheet that depicts only the sales of 20 ounce types of hot chocolate. So if we're asked to do this, and you'll be asked to do this on your um, exam, is to add a chart and a lot of times when they ask you to add it they're not asking you to add all the data they want you to look at two different pieces of data so we're always going to add um, the legend or what it the data is and then it's also asking us to add the 20 ounce price so there's a simple way to do this go ahead and highlight types of hot chocolate Hold down your control key. So we're highlighting column A, types of hot chocolate. Hold down your control key and then highlight 20 ounce price. And so that way you see that we have both of these highlighted. Now that part right there on 20 ounce price won't be highlighted too well to see it too well, but we're going to do that. Hold those down, then do insert. And we're going to choose chart. And there's two ways to do this one. We can do recommended charts. Or we can go to the all charts right down here, which is also recommended charts. And we can scroll down and you'll find a Pareto chart right down here. If you'll hover your mouse over, it's the one down. Um, if we go into the other one, all charts, 
we would click on a histogram okay and then we would choose a pareto p-a-r-e-t-o -E chart and click ok and now we have this pareto chart here we're going to take it we're going to grab it we're going to put it next to this other chart and then we're going to move our instructions over here so we can see that so now we've created this pareto chart but the other thing that we're going to do here is we're going to now format this chart we're going to format the title and we're going to format the colors so click on the chart title and since this is already horizontal and it's easy to do i'm just going to highlight that and rename it to hot chocolates 20 ounce sales and price okay and just click off of it don't hit enter or you're going to cause another line to go down so we see right here we've done add a pareto chart we renamed the title hot chocolates and now it says change the color palette of the Pareto chart to colorful palette three. So click anywhere on the chart. If we clicked off, click anywhere on the chart. Go to chart design tab. And we're going to click on change colors. And we're going to choose color palette three, colorful palette three right there. And so it matches some of our other colors when we're dealing with the chart and hot chocolate. Okay. And then the last thing it says over here was we're going to swap the axis data on the hot chocolates chart, 12 ounce chart price. So over here we have our hot chocolates, our 12 ounce price. We did this on our last assignment. We're going to do it again. Go ahead and click on this chart anywhere, chart design. And we're going to now choose over here in our data grouping, switch row and column. So you'll get a question that says something to the similar to switch or swap the row or column axes and that's what it this is right here and if we just click on that and we can see that we now have a different colorful chart and it shows it with our legend over here on the right now part of this is you just have to decide which way is better for you you know do you want to show it this way or do you want to show something this way and so you just have to decide what's better for you and also who your audience is. So we've completed all of this one through eight over here on our modifying and formatting chart. So very quick, very easy. And it gives you the opportunity to practice. Now let's go over here to Q1 hot chocolate sales and see what these instructions say. It says, move the quarterly sales chart to a new worksheet called hot chocolate sales. And then once we've done that, we're gonna format the chart by adding a legend. We're gonna add data labels category, and we're gonna format the data labels fill with orange accent to darker 50. So we did this already last time. We're gonna create a new sheet, a chart sheet. We're gonna click on our quarterly sales chart. We're going to go into chart design and we're going to go over here to the right move chart and we're going to click on new sheet and we're going to rename this sheet what it says right there hot chocolate sales so we'll rename this hot chocolate sales and we want that on a new sheet and click ok now part of our Instructions there is we're going to add a legend to the right side. So while we're here in chart design, if we clicked off anywhere, click on chart design, add chart element, legend, and we're going to do that to the right side. So now we have this legend here. But if you notice, it's not easy to be seen. We can increase the size of the legend. But one of the things I like doing is actually adding data labels to our chart. So if we click off, click off anywhere in the chart. And that just allows us when we come back on the chart not to mess anything up or i'll show you this if i click on this and i click again notice that my buttons are highlighting this 33 percent so anything that i do now will just be on this portion of the pie chart not the whole pie chart so to make sure i'm working with the whole pie chart i always just click off real quick so it clears anything i'm doing 
and now I'll right click on the pie chart and notice that I now have these dots through the whole thing. And if I right click, I'm going to click Format Data Labels. And one of the things that we want to do here, it said add ca the category name to it. So just click on Category Name because we have our Format Data Labels is going to come up. Click on Category Name. And now we've got this Samoan Cocoa 50-50 Milk and Dark Blend Chocolate Latte Extra Marshmallow as labels. Now the other part of this question was to fill in the color with orange accent to darker 50. So if you didn't click off on it, you can just click here on the fill button. If we've clicked off on it somewhere by accident, we can always right click on our labels, click format um, data labels down here at the bottom, go to our fill can, click our fill and over here is color we're going to choose color and it's asking us for orange accent to darker 50 which is this one down here in the bottom orange accent to darker 50 percent and now you can see our labels kind of match our color scheme there so we just completed step number six which was formatting our quarterly sales chart, adding a legend, adding data labels to the category, and doing a field color on the options. The last thing that we're gonna do on this, so we've already did our hot chocolate one over there, we did all eight of those, and then our hot chocolate city tab, go to your HC city tab, hot chocolate city tab, and what it's gonna ask you here, and you will have a question, something like this on your exam. It says, apply a glow, 18 point green accent color to the hot chocolate image so i'm going to go ahead and click off format shape i'm going to click on the picture and notice now i have a picture format that just popped up i'm going to click on that your different picture styles right here we've done this before alternative text we've done this before where we needed to place our alternative text for those that are uh, visually impaired they not, might need to hear what is going on and but this time we're going to choose picture effects which is the, the right side here in the ribbon and it says to do glow so we'll click on glow out here and now we just have to find which one and it just happens to be down here and a lot of times on your exam it'll be one of these down here they want you to find it and so we'll find that glow 18 point green accent color six and click on that and now we have this glowing green accent and that is it for this so very short going over managing charts uh, go ahead and for those of you in management 1400 save the file rename it using your last name first name and then upload it for credit for those of you that are joining us just to learn more about and getting prepared for your mos 200 exam thank you very much